Okay, so today's video will help you identify the issue with no power to the blade. Step one, turn on the headlights. Step two, make sure the power propel drive is functioning and is engaged. Step three, engage the bail handle. We have no power to the blade. Next, we want to re-engage the bail handle and rotate the, the main handle 90 degrees. This has helped us identify that this wiring harness needs to be replaced. To replace the wiring assembly, we first remove the six screws. Fold the handle assembly forward. Remove the top cover. A quick tip to replacing the wiring harness, make sure to take a picture of this area and where the wiring harness goes so when you're putting the top cover back on, you don't pinch any of the wires. To remove the wiring harness, we'll need to remove these three covers. Two screws here, eight screws here, six screws here, and four from the other side, I'll give you 10. Quick tip, keep the clamp engaged after you remove the eight screws and take a picture of the sub-assembly underneath. A quick tip, hold in this sub-assembly by placing a piece of tape around the main handlebar and remove this wire. Another quick tip, before removing the back side of the uh, handle assembly, take two pieces of tape and place them across the handle assembly to keep everything in place. Another quick tip is to take a photo of this entire assembly. Now we're going to remove the three switches, the speed switch, the main switch, and the self-propelled switch. To remove the speed switch, simply push up on the green lever. To remove the main switch, simply pull up on the switch itself. To remove the power propel switch, remove the green handle, note the spring, Remove the switch. Now the whole assembly is ready for replacement. To remove the rest of the wiring harness, simply pull up on the harness, remove the yellow, remove the blue, remove one, two black connectors, And now we're going to need to cut two wires. First, cut the white wire, then cut the red wire. Your wiring harness can now be pulled through the rest of the chassis. Now we're ready to reinstall the wiring harness. To reinstall the wiring harness, start from the furthest part out, which is our speed sensor control for the power propelled. 
then install the wiring harness up to the main switch, then into the self-propelled switch. Adjust your wires accordingly for fit. Quick tip, make sure that you have at least two ribs in the conduit into the handle assembly. We then proceed down to the switch assembly and the handle. Make sure you have at least two ribs into the conduit and adjust your wires accordingly through the handle assembly. Finally, we come down to entering the into the decorative channel. It's important to know that you have plenty of wire going back into the chassis. After putting the wire through the decorative handle assembly, come underneath the handle, fish it through, and start connecting your connectors. The yellow, the blue, and the black connectors, and finish off with the last connector. Next, we'll heat shrink the tubes. 